My name is Kelsey Wilkie, and I am a paranormal investigator. This field has always intrigued me ever since I was a child. And now I have set myself up on a journey in search for the answers. However, I am not alone on this quest. I am being accompanied by my mother Shelly, my brother Scott, and my friend Shiloh. We all have our own opinions and theories about the paranormal. Our mission is to find proof that there is life after death. Join us on our journey to find a paranormal discovery. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't actually investigate this room. It's quite active. Like, um, mm -hmm. the last time we were here, this was where all the activity was. But we've actually gotten a couple in here now talking. We don't know who they are. They told us their names. Hmm. So we're thinking this is just a theory that we have. Possibly it might be those two. And we do get a baby crying in here all the time. Well, well we've always had that. So this is the... Uh, in our house kitchen where we get all the activity you know we get the EVPs of the, the nasty gentleman and this is the room that we get it in we've actually set Skype up here live Skype with the computer right here and, and we would talk to him and say different things and he would growl and he would say all kinds of stuff he would move things we would hear it but we couldn't see it this has actually happened to me and a couple other teams but it and uh, but it has happened to me and we do have it on film the cabinets do it by themselves. This is a bathroom. I'm not sure, they kept, the people, the team that was here before, kept putting a duct tape on it and a board there because it kept swinging open real hard by themselves, by itself, and it was scaring them. Mm -hmm. And this door, and then there's a door right here, and this will, we actually put a bell on it because it'll do, it will. It'll come shut like that by itself. Um, this fan right here, it does have power to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it did it, I can't explain it. My very first investigation here, you know, I was in the blue room and we were the last people in here, the door was shut and locked. And, you know, and it turns on. You gotta push this. Mm -hmm. Well, when we came in, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the radio that turns itself on and stuff. Um, this does turn on by itself. It does it all the time. It'll turn on and off by itself. This is the most reported activity of the house, period, is the radio. Leave it on. And it'll change its stations, too. Um, we'll leave it on like a Christian station. Mm -hmm. And we'll come back in, you know, in like an hour or so later. And it'll be on like some kind of weird rock station or whatever. <laughs> so it doesn't like the Christian music for some wonder. house. This, is like, this was a bedroom. This is the planet room. Oh. Now, a lot of people... A lot of people leave this room alone. They don't really investigate it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, and I can't explain this, but lately it has been super active. I don't know why. Um, gotten some weird EVPs in here, talking about this is my house, you know. I've gotten a little boy and little girl EVPs in here. This is what they call the living room. You do get a lot of good EVPs in here. A lot of people don't investigate this part of the house either. I don't know why. But here's what's weird. I don't know if you have a DVR system or still a camera and you can set it somewhere. Okay. 
but set it on this door. Because all of a sudden now it's decided it wants to open this door. It's locked. You will hear grand grandfather clock. If you hear that, let us know. We've only heard that twice. So ironically, someone's had a grandfather clock on this property at one time. Um, we left the blue, we left the light in here for you guys, but it does turn that on and off for some odd reason now. <laughs> it likes to play with it. It thinks I, I think it thinks we leave toys in here for it. Right. Um, it opens and shuts that door. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Keep note if it was shut or if it wasn't shut. Um, and I'm still trying to debunk this. We had two TVs that we didn't even know were here. We found them in the house. Just little box TVs. We hear white noise. And it's quiet in here. And it's during the day, quiet. We come around and the TVs are turned on. And this is when it, Pam and Eddie and everybody was here. And we were just like, okay. Everybody was accounted for. Everybody was in the room with us. This door is nailed shut. Okay. And I did leave the alarms up on there. It's, it's, you can click it on. It, it is nailed shut though now. Um, but there's a bell in there. We kept hearing this bell for years. We did not know where it was coming from. We were always hearing this bell. And one day we were bringing for our Halloween party, you know, it was myself and Crystal and Sherry Stewart, which is Pam's sister, this real casket, it was real. Mm -hmm. We were bringing it in here to put it here for a Halloween party. And when we were coming in, we noticed there's a bell on the opposite side of this door. Uh, we get a lot of the child responses in here. A lot of the dog, child, um, the female, there's a female spirit here always asking for help. She's always in here too, don't know why. But the nasty male entity that, mm -hmm. you know, he's always in that kitchen. Um, but in here it's just, I don't know if you do like ceremonial stuff or anything. Okay, well we had some teams do that and we're pretty sure they, they brought stuff in. Because we do get a female now, it sounds like a witch. And it's... It's never been here before. We've also gotten a nastier demonic sounding entity that's never been here before. The videos where they were doing demonic summoning and stuff upstairs in the Ouija board room. We don't think that they closed the, the, the door. We think they actually brought them in and left them here. Mm -mm. Sorry, I was listening. There was a baby carriage upstairs, and I just, I don't know if you heard that roll. Yeah, I heard something. I heard, yeah. There's a baby carriage upstairs. It's, it, it, just, it just moved. This, this part of the house. A lot of people don't investigate it thoroughly, and they always go in the blue room. Mm -hmm. They always go in the red room. Trust me when I say you get great EVPs in here, and I hope you do. Now this is the blue room. This is when everybody comes in, obviously. It's creep factor. As we walk in, now the hula hoop's moving. Mm -hmm. It was still when we came in. You'll notice if you watch this hula hoop, it's, I mean, it sounds weird, but it'll be completely still, and you can tell it to do something, and it'll it'll start doing, it'll spin the way you want. Um, we left the toys in here and stuff because we always get the kids in here. Uh, the evil, evil, like the evil so-called demonic entity in here too. And he said he's from the basement. I will show you something new that we just, you know, I don't know why all of a sudden now, there's a bathroom in here. Does it smell like anything in there other than just a bathroom? It's no, it just smells like an old bathroom to me. For some odd reason lately we've been getting a lot of like rotten flesh, dead, raw meat, like sulfur type smell in there. Let's get it down. I'm saying this, and for some odd reason that that bathroom has been active again. Hmm. It was active when we first started, and then it got kind of quiet. I've actually filmed a full body apparition come out of there and into there. There was a house fire. I don't know if you've heard the story mm -hmm. about the pharmacist. And everything. Sis, have you heard it? No. I do you want to film? Do you do you really want to film this or not? Evidence of the fire. If you look. Is that what that room was? Right in here. You see the charred wood? Oh, yeah. There's charred wood. If you look all up in there, it's charred wood. We did leave one of the TVs in here, by the way. That's one of the TVs that turned on. That door does shut by itself. It just reminded me when you were saying that. A um, lot of good K2 hits, REM pod action in here. A lot of great EVPs. A lot of the women get uptight in here because we think that female's influencing them. 
with like you know but the men I feel fine in here yeah it's only females that's one of the reports a lot of teams are getting people getting real bad anxiety like they just want to get out or they they'll get angry for some odd reason I've actually experienced that myself. I got it just made me angry at one of my teammates one time. They were just sitting there doing nothing. Okay. Bones and... Yeah, be very careful if you come down here tonight. Just because it does like to push people and stuff. That's a cool shoe. That was a cool shoe. So that's where that basically happened. Now the the chemical bin was somewhere over in this area for fun. And my equipment was off. Like crazy on command. I was getting some real good EVPs showing people and uh, camera died. Live went, the battery was fully charged, went dead. You know, and it felt like something grabbed me and pulled me back in there. Well, when I turned around, I rock and you can see like those little rocks and stuff on there. Yeah. It came off, hit me in the back, hit me so hard in the back. It, I mean, it, it left a mark on my shirt and then it came back and hit the blinds to the wall. Um, as far as uh, EVPs, or you, get, you do get a lot of good equipment reaction in EVPs down here. I mean, the door. One of the weird things we noticed after this start happening was these scratches. Those are deep. Those, those weren't there at one time. We don't know why those showed up. Not saying it's paranormal, it's just saying it's just something we noticed. My SLS camera, I'll get the two little kids in that closet and a tall figure on this. It was interesting one night, I was getting EVPs with the SLS and it was talking about how they were scared of them. I said, are you, I said, are you scared of the tall figure? And this is on my Facebook and I said, it got an EVP. I said, yes. So I went up to the tall figure and I like I hit it mm -hmm. on the wall and it like crunched over on my SLS and it disappeared. And uh, the two little entities in the closet was looked like it was pointing up, like it was laughing. And then the tall figure came back and it was still going like this. I was like, did you, did I hurt it? Did we hurt the, and the kids were like, yes, thank you. And it was, it was just real funny. I do, I don't care. If it's gonna hurt you, it's gonna hurt you. Cause I've been, I've been attacked right here, scratched, pulled my necklace. Um, the doll room, Ouija board room. Um, Ouija board is original. That was found. Um, the other one's fake. We didn't, you know, we didn't find the centerpiece of this, so we don't know where it's at. Could be here. Could be. We don't know yet. Unfortunately, someone stole my doll that I brought up here. Oh. I had a raggedy hand doll that would make noise and stuff. And I actually filmed it one night with the hand, it moved up and went boom, smacked itself in the chest and it went off. We get massive EVPs, shadow, the shadow people, the so-called demonics and stuff we see up here. This kitchen, a lot of people get a, get a lot of the shadow figures and stuff in here. A lot of good EVPs, real good EVPs in this kitchen. I think you can feel the vibe change up here, the energy changes. It just feels like it's aggressive. Like, this is the baby carriage room. That's what I heard. They brought him in and left him here. Mm -mm. This one, this one makes a noise. You can tell. What I heard was this. That little rock. Light. This thing will spin by itself a lot. And this will this fan. You get a lot of good EVPs in here. A lot of good shadow movement. A lot of people set up their camera and stuff right here and there's a reason why that table's here. Three, make that device go off, please. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that? Three, make that device go off, please. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that? I'm in and left them here. I'm in and left them here.